Hello and welcome everyone, Richard Schneeman here talking about modules. All right, so uh, modules are meant to mix in methods into Ruby code. So what exactly does that mean? We already know that Ruby has single inheritance. We've, we've talked about doing this before. Um, so we can have a class of dog and we can have a method inside of dog that is bark. So if we, uh, inside of that, we put wolf. So if a class of puppy inherits from dog, then we can do something along the lines of say puppy.new.bark. And although puppy doesn't have the bark method, we can say um, it, it's going to basically say, all right, well, hey, I don't have the bark method, but I inherit from dog. So does do you have the bark method, dog? So um, it's going to say yes, dog. The dog class does know how to bark, and so it's going to re respond with woof. What if we wanted to add more methods? So uh, you, you know, maybe we want to share methods across multiple classes. It, it, it kind of makes sense that um, you know s certain different types of young animals would would have common methods or, or common um, these common values that we can call on them. Well, we can use modules. Yay! Okay, so uh, let's say we're going to start off making a module called annoying animal. And in this module, when as a, and it's going to be a module as opposed to a class, when we call the method of sit, then it is going to chew on your shoes naturally. It, it's annoying. It's young. Eh, hasn't learned yet. So if we have our puppy class, we can include annoying animal inside of our puppy class. Um, the the inherits from dog is not required. I just left it over from last time. But um, you can include the annoying animal. And then um, whenever we call puppy.new.sit, it is going to say, all right, puppy, do you know how to sit? And puppy's going to say, I don't know how to sit. And, and then we are going to um, notice that we have this module included, and we are going to say, okay, our annoying animal, does annoying animal have this method sit? And it's going to say, yes, we do. So um, then we can call that method, and it's going to chew on your shoes. So you get this puppy, you bring it home, you love it, and then it chews on your shoes. It happens. All right. So, um, and, you know, how this is kind of nice is we can just say, all right, here's a method, and all right, okay, so we've got an, a puppy, and a puppy might chew on your shoes when you tell it to sit, but maybe cats do that too. So we can, even though we wrote this one module, we can include it in multiple different classes. Again, they don't have to inherit from anything that I just wrote that uh uh, to indicate why we're not doing this via inheritance. So if we put puppy.new.sit, it's going to chew on shoes. If we put kitty.new.sit, it's also going to chew on shoes. Um, and notice we're using the include keyword. So um, one, and that is going to give us an instance method. One way I'd like to think of this is include uh, starts with in, and instance also starts with in. So include gives us instance methods when dealing with modules. All right, so mm, that's kind of an abstract example. We've got kit, cats, we've got dogs, whatever. Um, what about a real example? So the enumerable module is heavily used inside of Ruby. And if uh, so you can go to the documentation for the enumerable module, see all the different methods it's got in it. And it's used by Array. We can go to the Array documentation and see that it has enumerable included in it. Wow. We can go to Hash and see that Hash is include, or has the enumerable module included in it. Uh, and so each of these implement dot each. So, uh, and they share all of those same methods that enumerable has, um, which is great because, you know, hash and, um, and array don't necessarily, they don't have to inherit from enumerable, but, uh, we can just mix those methods in. So we're just basically adding in methods, which is, um, perfect 99% of the time. Uh, so one caveat, one difference between modules and classes is modules cannot be instantiated. So here we have our exact same module before. We say module annoying animal and define sit and say that's puts choose on shoes dot end. Um, if we call annoying animal dot new like we did with classes, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to get an undefined method error. Cannot um, we don't know how to make a new module. So uh, classes can be instantiated, modules cannot. Uh, so include, I mentioned, is going to give us an instance method. So in 
include is going to give us an I N instance method. Maybe anybody. Um, and here we go. This is the example that I gave. If we want to use class methods, and we talked about the difference between instance and class methods previously, we can use extend. So that is what we are going to use to get those class methods. So if we extend annoying animal, instead of calling puppy.new.sit, we can just directly call puppy.sit. And that is a class level method on the puppy class. Perfect. All right. Um, so that moves us into the exercise. We are done for the day. Uh, we are going to get some practice uh, making some real-world websites. By now, you all have had plenty of experience um, following directions, and you should, you've should you got plenty of experience with you know, your models, your views, your controllers, your routes. Uh, but you know, here we are actually going to go through the thought process that I go through as I am building a new application from scratch. Also, I've left out some... Uh, core uh, core details that are necessary in order to implement the project it's kind of a kind of your job to go out and figure out how to how to do that this is not a just follow along at home project um, and this should definitely help you hopefully you have a project a um, that you are working on a outside of the class and again I it's if you're taking the class it's a requirement it's the final project it's worth 50% of your grade um, but if you're not taking the class for credit then it's very important it's it'll help you rationalize and give you a chance to actually play with and experiment a lot of the topics that we've been covering and, and talking about having that own project is going to give you something to uh, just well play with and and internalize all of those different concepts so uh, check out the example github.com slash neem slash reddit on rails and uh, thanks for tuning in